Greetings from the Iricosis is Mad Chad on this uh, Freya Vigi May Freya Bless on this wonderful Friday. Yeah, I forget it was Friday. It's my day off. <laughs> uh, it is raining all day. Just, just pure rain. Uh, 65, 70 degrees. Mm. It's still a good day. Tell you about those who did not have a good day. Those Americans that are trapped to have gas and left their bad trailer Joe's militia slash company regime. At least we forget that 13 servicemen and women died at Abigate, Kabul, Afghanistan, along with 200 other poor souls. Three or plus people lost arms and legs and limbs. Things that don't grow back. A lot of them are service members as well. Every day, never forget it. Never forget his fault this is. Deploy knife hands. <laughs> ha! But there was hope. Folks getting him out. Task Force Argo, Task Force Pineapple, Project Exodus, Project Dumbo, Christian Coalition, Mighty Oak Foundation, just to name a few. Hmm. And least we forget that 700 plus, 800 plus people, they're charged 1,500 people uh, with with uh, pulling them into court so they have to fight for their survival, fight for their life. Uh, incarcerated for the J6 debacle. Hell, there's political prisoners without sentencing, without bail, torture, solitary confinement conditions. Someone lost an eye. There have been suicides. Every day, never forget and never forget whose fault this is. And yes, definitely deploy more knife hands. <laughs> but there's hope. Thousands of people, family, friends, loved ones, several organizations, law firms doing pro bono work, even some senators, congressmen, representatives, judges, and former president, soon to be president, getting into the fray. Hmm. Every day they make a phone call to their loved ones and they sing at the top of their lungs the national anthem. Hmm. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, I don't know, Russia is shooting some missiles off the coast of California. <clears throat> it's, yeah, it's off the coast of California. And yeah, it is a uh, cause for alarm. Uh, but uh, it's, it's, it's just a, uh, Russia loves to do this. They love it. They love to do do flybys. You know, danger close flybys. They like to they like to target. Uh, like they'll they'll radar they'll they'll radar they'll missile lock on stuff and then turn it off and <laughs> you know suka my friend suka right blat blat whatever they say uh, suka blat I don't know whatever uh, they love to be intimidating. They do. They love it and they've been doing it for years to everyone. Uh, especially us, and we've done it back too. It's kind of a game, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, off the coast of Alaska, they they in the, in the past years, uh, they've done major major uh, maritime exercises, you know, land, air, sea, land and sea shit. Uh, but they've never ever stepped on uh, uh, American soil or got into the. Uh, they just keep it right outside, right on international waters. They might kind of fly really, really close. Uh, and so this is the same thing. Uh, and, and, you know, yeah, this is very reminiscent of maybe the Cuban Missile Crisis. But, uh, you know, they, they, the Russians are in Cuba. The Russia, is a, Russia and China are in Cuba. They're in the Central Americas. They're in South America. They're fucking everywhere. So uh, that's that's what they're doing is they're trying to say, hey, look, we have a presence here. And, uh, you know, the... Off the coast of San Diego, yeah, sure, okay, but you know what? What all that all that's doing is just just going, suka. You know, uh, that's all they're doing. That's that's all. Or you know, it's also a uh, a, uh, a a a a distraction. You know, uh, if you I, I watched Monkey Works uh, for the uh, uh, for the actual thing. We have so many assets watching them. And matter of fact, San Diego, uh, the, the naval, uh, the naval forces there and air force are conducting their own little live fire exercise out in the ocean, right next to the NOTAM that the, uh, the Russians are doing. So it's like, well, all right, you're going to do it too. We're going to do it too. So, I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> Uh, Russia likes to, like I said, you know, uh, be intimidating, uh, be uh, be bold, have balls. Uh, but we've got the biggest balls of them all, right? Uh, so it, it, uh, yeah, and they know it. 
All right, they know it. Uh, and if you watch Monkey Works, uh, shout out to Monkey Works. While everything was going on over there on the West Coast, and mind you, we had all the assets up. We had um, uh, all the uh, the rivet joints, the AWACS. The we even had subs in the water. We had ships on the on the on the in the water. Uh, we had every plane. We even had planes flying over Mexico. So uh, we know exactly what they're doing and and taking a lot of notes. Right. Uh, and, and, you know, we're not hiding anything. Right. So they're they might be trying to watch us, watch them and see how we watch them. Uh, but, you know, we've already we've already told uh, Russia, hey, you know, we've been w flying in your airspace for quite some time. <laughs> you never knew it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, one F-22 is enough to destroy their whole air force. OK. Let that sink in. One F-22. One. Uh, yeah, and so, whatever. Uh, <laughs> but, but like I said, uh, meanwhile, I, I did find this interesting This interesting observation. While everything was going on the West Coast, most of our assets were on the East Coast. Boom. I mean, it was like a... It was like a phalanx that they that we built over there off the east coast with with planes and ta uh, planes and, uh, and and ships everywhere and in the Gulf. Um, it's the the Gulf of Mexico is kind of split up as far as like uh, how many how many jurisdictions there are and uh, well we, we we watch it all we we watch it all we're very active in the Gulf Coast and so is Russia and and other countries like to go in there and kind of sneak in sneaky sneaky we're going to be sneaky 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 my friend no we, we we see you we're watching you hey Bill you see this yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, my uh, oh, oh 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 my 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 finger my trigger finger is getting itchy. Stand down. Okay, fine. All right, all right, fine. I, I won't take the shot. Uh, that's <laughs> you know, and they don't even know. They don't even know we're there. That's you know uh, that that is the that is the uh, capabilities of of a uh, uh, a modern modern uh, a modern military nowadays we see everything and we have the capability to hit them before they even know they've been hit i mean it's like boom oh look everybody gets to watch as uh that's how they know they've been hit is that everybody watching it goes oh shit we just got hit oops and it's one of two things are gonna happen they clear out or they get hit <laughs> i mean so uh, not too much worried about what's going on on the West Coast. Uh, it is not actually, it's, it's in international waters, 200, 200 miles out. Uh, and it's actually more in the Baja side, uh, south of San Diego. Um, so if, if, if Mexico, if, if we had Mexico, we had the Baja, then that would be in our, our, our jurisdiction, I guess. Uh, but it, we're still watching and waiting. So, uh, would that is it the is there a possibility for something to happen? Yeah, sure, always, always. Uh, there's always the possibility that things could go hot at any minute. That welcome to the world that we live in. It's been that way for i don't know hundreds of thousands of millions of years i mean i don't know i mean we live in dangerous times and the world is dangerous uh things happen you know there's emotions evolved people make mistakes people uh people get a little crazy sometimes uh and accidents happen so uh that's always the possibility that something could always happen but uh you know assigning a a probability number to this a percentage I, I, you know, whatever. Uh, that's e even with that, you could be wrong. So, I mean, you, you never know until after the facts. You know, even if they say, "Yeah, we're gonna shoot you down," I mean, because everybody says that. Yeah, oh, we're going to retaliate. It's a retaliation. <laughs> Nothing happens. I mean, that happens all the time. 
all the time. So uh, somebody, you know, poking poking the eagle, the bear trying to eat the beagle. The the, the bear basically is 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 eating its lunch in in the you know eyesight of the eagle, which can see very very far. Uh, it's 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 really of no concern to me until something happens. Now that's a concern. Now that's the action must be taken. But until then. I'm just going to carry on with my life, uh, which includes today being my day off. So uh, <laughs> there you go. That's what I think about all this crap. Uh, you know, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of just bolstering and, and intimidation and talking shit and and also saving face. Uh, you know, uh, Niet, I am not afraid of you. A rifle is fine. Okay, all right, yeah, sure. Whatever you there, whatever you say there, Vladimir. Uh, okay, fine. No smoking in your tanks, by the way. They have a tendency to explode when you do that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, whatever. Uh, whatever. We we all know it doesn't really fucking matter because the plans for us. Uh, go way, way into the future, you know. Yeah, it's a possibility they could, you know, set something off. And that's where we need to be prepared. And uh, as as a prepared mindset community, which, you know, we are we are a part of, and more and more people are, are jumping on this bandwagon, I, I don't see no problem with it. I mean, I, if I was... If I was you know, uh, commander in chief. Yeah. I would be like, no, get the fuck out. Yeah. You know, we're sending everybody down there and we're flying right over your shit. And we're, 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 we're probably going to board you and go, what are you doing here? Seriously, you need to leave. And that's how I'd handle it. <laughs> right. Or, or, or I, I, I go to Kaliningrad and have, and have some operations. I'm going to, I'm going I'm I'm to do a, a live fire uh, a live fire exercise right here, 50 miles off the coast of your fucking country. I might even do a flyover. Dare a motherfucker to say what? What? So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's why I'm not commander in chief. Huh? But we do have a potato in charge. And so he is just sitting there probably shitting himself going, da, da, da. Uh, is there more ice cream? Uh, can I smell? Can I sniff a hair somewhere? Uh, yeah, you know. Do I have time to take a shower? You know, right? So, yeah, whatever. Fuck that guy. Uh, just stay the course. Stay the course. Uh, yeah. Is it a? Is it a cause for concern? A little bit. A little bit. But uh, you know, the the history of things. But the, the also that that what's called normalization, military normalization, uh, in, in fighting, it's called motor setting, right? Motor setting. If they're going to always do that and then they switch it up on you real quick, then it's like, Oh shit. Didn't see that coming. Even though they've been doing it over and over and over and over and over again, you, you know, they've been hitting, they've been, you know, fenting high and then they go low. Right. So, I mean, that's, it's classic, classic, uh, classic tactic. Anyway, uh, carry on. I'll be, uh, in the area all day, <laughs> hanging out with Charity, which is, she's passed out after uh, some bacon feast we had, and uh, I'm waiting on a pizza, mm -hmm. yeah, mm, winning, uh, so, <laughs> <coughs> go team Linda, go team Linda, fuck cancer, she is kicking ass and taking names, getting stronger by the day, go team Joe, go team Joe, and Joe's mama, go check out Joe Morgan. Give him some love and support. This is been Mad Shad. Every day, never forget. Bonus! More knife hands! Ah, oh, hi, Charity. Oh, oh, hey, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, ho, ho.